Hello there, welcome and welcome again to those of you who are new subscribers and my own old subscribers, not so new. All right, now if you are a fresh new subscriber, I want you to know I celebrate you. Thumbs up to you. Thank you for subscribing. Now, if you've been watching these videos and you have not yet subscribed, or this is your first time of watching my videos, you've not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button right now. We're believing God for 2,000 subscribers this year. So let's make it happen. Also, remember to comment, remember to share this video, and more than anything, remember to like this video. When you like, when you hit the like button, the algorithm of YouTube picks it up because you are interacting and it spreads it, it shows it more into more places all over the world. So please always like. It is very important. Thank you very much for that. I've been dealing in my past four videos on certain things you must put, certain five expectations that must be added to your faith. When you are believing God, trusting God for something, these are five things that God expects you to put in addition to, the, to faith. Faith does not just stand alone and this is the reason why a number of children of God are not getting the result they need to get I've talked about the fact that you these are some expectations uh, that that you God you should expect God to give you a practical plan of action number two you should expect supernatural wisdom from God number three you should expect divine favor as you are walking by faith and then number four you should expect a miracle a supernatural intervention of God that you cannot explain away. You can only say this is the doing of the Lord and it's marvelous in my eyes. That was my last video. And this particular one, I want to end it by saying uh, that when I am trusting God for something, when I'm believing God for something, I expect supernatural strength to endure. I expect God to give me supernatural strength so that I endure. I am standing. I do not quit before my my breakthrough arrives you see when you are believing god the angels pick the blessings like a courier man delivery man a postman the courier man picks up the delivery package and then he begins to come various if you, if, you, if you like you can even track some delivery companies they can track your package where they have reached and all the angels of god are like the delivery bringing the box of your breakthrough your favor your open doors they are bringing the box of your life partner your healing your body your your next million dollar breakthrough contract for your business they are bringing it your way usually it does not come the same day that you pray you need to stand and the time it will be delivered is not it's not revealed unto you god keeps it in his heart but he expects you to keep on standing he expects you to keep on trusting him he expects you to keep on believing and being expectant now many a times we get weary in well doing so god's word encourages us don't be weary in well doing keep on standing having done all to stand stand there for this aspect is very important. Many of our breakthroughs, it's not that God did not release it, it's not that the angels are not working on it, but many of us give up too soon. And when you give up too soon, you are sending, it's like sending a message to the courier company, send back my package. I don't want it anymore. The devil knows this, so he comes to tempt us with weariness, doubt, uh, 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 double-mindedness, but you've got to believe God for the grace to be able to stand strong. I love this scripture in Job chapter 14, verse 14. The second part of Job 14, 14. Job says, until my change comes, this is one thing I'll do. I'll keep holding on. I'll keep standing on you until my change comes or until my breakthrough manifests, until the miracle manifests, until the answer to the prayers in my hands, until the testimony is here, I will keep on standing until then. I'll keep standing. Believe God for the grace to be able to endure and keep on standing. I'm talking about the ability to stand until my change comes. When you walk by faith, faith operates with a twin. Faith operates with a twin called patience. Hebrews 6 12 says, Hebrews 6 12, we should be followers of those who, through faith and patience, inherit the promises of God. Listen. You cannot just say I'm walking by faith alone. There's an expectation that you must have, you must endure. But then you must trust God for supernatural strength to endure. So grace, I'm talking of grace not to be a quitter. God's word says in Ephesians 6.13, Having done all to stand, stand therefore. 
Have you done all? You've prayed, you've fasted, you've sought God, you've taken God's word and all. keep on standing there and keep on doing what you know should be done. But you need the grace of God for that. So believe God for that grace to, and that strength to endure. There's a statement I came across sometime and I love it. He says, if you're willing to wait forever, you won't have to wait forever. If you are willing to wait forever, you won't have to wait forever. If you wait a right and you're in your mind, so it doesn't matter how long it's going to take. I'm going to be here waiting, praising God, waiting, confessing the truth of God's word, waiting, thanking God as I'm waiting. Listen, you will not have to wait forever. Okay? Now, what do you think about what I've shared? Comment, like, share. If you've not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe. All right, then. Until I see you again in my next video, this is Yinkaji saying peace.